Hello Aquarius viewers, I'm going to take a look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, and what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. So let's get into it and see what's going on. So Aquarius viewers, what is going on with your love lives? <clears throat> Interesting energy. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, the Empress, Three of Wands, Strength, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, and King of Swords. Okay, that's interesting. <clears throat> Might be a third party situation here. See, with the Nine of Pentacles right here next to the Eight of Swords, it almost feels like you are receiving rewards for all the hard work you've done. Like, you do have support. You do have love. You do have success in, in almost every area of your life, but you're not really seeing it. I think you're just kind of exhausted with the Eight of Swords here. It's like, traditionally, the Eight of Swords is somebody who's sur who's surrounded by swords and they have an opening right in front of them and there's a castle just a little bit further past that and they're not seeing it though they're just seeing the swords all around them and they don't realize that there's a way out that there's an opening right in front of them so it's that kind of energy where the your rewards are here your good harvest your love it's all here but you're not really seeing it you're in this eight of swords energy where you know you're kind of not aware of the blessings that you have around you fully right now. I do feel like this might be a third party situation because I'm kind of looking at her. It's like this could be considered strength in, in a way, but it's more of like a harsh strength. Do you see that? It's like, I mean, it is new opportunities and it is this conquering spirit, but look how harsh her energy is. And I feel like these are two separate energies that your masculine is dealing with. It's like, there's this this harsh queen of swords energy somebody who's possibly argumentative or controlling or harsh or not quick to show their emotions and then there's you and you you know you're strong but you see how you see how different the strength card is it's like this woman is very gentle and she just has a genuine natural strength Whereas opposed to the karmic, it's like the karmic has to fake confidence. She has to fake strength. She has to control and manipulate to, to feel strong. But with you, it's kind of like you just have this like natural strength and beauty and charm. And you're in this Queen of Wands energy and the Empress energy too. Um, where you're just, you're motherly and nurturing and feminine and, and passionate and powerful and, and strong and seductive. You know, it's just this really good energy that you have. And I guess your masculine is kind of in the King of Swords energy right now, but I almost feel like he's in it because of the karmic. You know what I mean? It's like you bring out his softer side. Like he's more like the King of Cups with you and you're the Queen of Wands. But around her, you notice how like how neither of these cards are looking at each other. They're both looking down and away. And I think this is his relationship, his connection to the karmic. It's kind of like she's harsh, she's controlling, she's manipulative, she's insecure. And she tries to pretend to be strong, but she's not, you know? Whereas you just have this, like, genuine strength and this this very, like, it's like you're his safe space, kind of, you know? But with the karmic here, it's like... It's like she, she brings out the King of Swords in him, if that makes any sense. Like, she sort of just... Like, they might be having arguments or some kind of confrontation or miscommunication or, like, a lack of communication, distance, pride, ego. 
It's like he, it's not really his safe space with her. You know what I mean? He has to be in this more in this harsh energy. He has to be defensive with her. He has to watch his back around her. So let's see what else we can get on that situation. Put these cards back and pull a new spread really quick. So I'll try asking this, is your masculine wanting to reach out and leave the karmic behind? Like what's going on there? Is he coming towards you? What do we have going on with that? Because that card wanted to come out. What is going on with this situation? Like is your masculine, and again, it could be masculine or feminine. So. Just, I know I have some male viewers. It could be a male-male relationship, female-female, male-female, just however it resonates with you. So, you know, it could be, I, if I say masculine, it could, it could be feminine for you. That could be your story. So it's, it's however it resonates with you. So don't get too caught up on the wording. But, um, yeah, so let's see. So is your person coming towards you now? Like, are they pulling away from this karmic? Are they going to reach out to you? Like, what is going on with that? Probably too many cards, but okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, it looks like it. Queen of Wands and the Chariot, so it looks like they are wanting to come forward. The Moon, the Four of Swords, Justice. That's a really, this is a really good spread. Queen of Cups, Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Chariot. So I almost feel like, I feel like the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands are both you in this spread. I don't feel like it's you in the Karmic. I feel like it's just you. And I almost feel like you are going to, in the next couple of weeks, you're kind of transitioning to this Queen of Cups energy where you're waiting for him or her. You know, you're you're seductive, you're charming, but you're, you're emotional, which is good. It's like, and it, you know, you see how she's just kind of waiting. It's not, it's a good energy. You know what I mean? It really is a good energy. Um, but she's, she's in her emotions. She's just kind of waiting. And the Queen of Wands, it's still passionate. It's still emotional, but it's, it's more powerful. And I almost feel like you're just transitioning from this to this. But they're both really good energies, and they're both definitely helping move him towards you. With the Moon and the Four of Swords here, you notice how the Moon is looking towards the Justice card? And if you saw that, that placement, it's like she's looking right past the Four of Swords here. So the Four of Swords would be, you know, loneliness and isolation and confusion and feeling like you were betrayed, you were let down, you were hurt. Um, could be cheating or something like that, too, going on. Just some type of betrayal. Like you're feeling like you're not being heard or seen or understood. Like there's just some type of injustice. It's like you gave a lot to this person and you feel like you're not getting what you deserve in return. It feels like you're putting a lot of energy into this and it kind of feels like you you just feel wronged in some way. You know what I mean? You feel like there is some betrayal. You feel like this person is your safe space and you know, you're also their safe space. And it, so it's just kind of like I think not being able to be fully vulnerable with right, them right now is kind of hurting you where it's like you just want to trust this person and you feel like you can't right now. But with the, um, so, that, so that's like, that's your pain. That's your isolation and your loneliness. But with the moon here, see how the moon is just looking right past this energy. So you're trying to rise above this and you're trying to just focus on your justice. You're trying to just get your justice. And I feel like justice is coming in in this situation. If you watch my, um, I, I do third party videos. So if this is resonating with you, you should watch those too. Because I, it, it, you know, the story is about the same in those readings too. So check those out I'm looking at the Queen of Cups and it's like she's just it's like she's emotional and she's open and she's holding space for her masculine but she's not chasing him you know she's not overdoing it she's not overwhelming him she is very powerful and confident she's very calm you know when I look at the Queen of Cups energy it's like she's just Like you see her sitting there or you see her standing there it's like she's you know see how like flirty she is she's just kind of holding space and waiting for him but she's not putting her life on hold for him necessarily she's just 
she has she has this natural seduction and natural beauty and charm to her basically I want to clarify the page of swords here actually because for some of you I feel like because pages can be about messages so for some of you I do feel like you're gonna get a message um, I think there's two different story two different um, stories here basically for just for the these two cards so for the page of swords and eight of pentacles for some of you this is about you and this is just saying like you're working hard for something you're eager to learn you might be taking up a new career or hobby or skill set and it's going to go well for you and it's going to bring back this passion for life and it's going to put you in this queen of wands energy. You know, it's going to put you back in touch with your passion and your creativity and your power. And you're going to be moving forward with this energy. And just that energy is going to be drawing your person to you. It's going to make you more attractive because you're going to be passionate about life again. So for some of you, you are pursuing a new hobby or career or some type of skill set. Basically, you're working on something with yourself. For others, I think the Page of Swords might actually be a message coming in. It's 11.11 into the video when I, when I wrote that. So let me see. Let me see if I can get some clarification. Some further clarification on the Page of Swords. All right. What kind of clarification can I get on the Page of Swords? This reading. Oh, okay. Message. <laughs> so, yeah. Message hope. That's good. Loyalty and High Priestess of Earth. This is a pretty good reading. Message hope, High Priestess of Earth, and loyalty. So your person might be an Earth sign. Earth is also just about, um, you know, grounding. I think it's saying that when this message comes through, do not be over emotional if this person reaches out to you. Like, don't, one way or the other, like negative or positive emotion. You know what I mean? Like, you might get a message, but it might be, it might not be as intense as you want it to be. It might just be a hi, how are you doing? How has life been? kind of thing. Um, so I think it's just, I think that the high priestess of earth is just saying, like, there is hope here with this message that's coming in. But with the High Priestess of Earth, it's, it's just telling you, you know, stay grounded, though. Stay neutral. Stay level. Um, kind of match their energy. You know what I mean? Don't give more energy than you're receiving. I feel like you put this person on a pedestal and you let them get away with too much in the past. So, you know, even though there's a strong love there... You, you don't want to be taken for granted again. You don't want to be old, reliable. You know what I mean? So if this message comes in, which for some of you it will. I'm not saying for everyone it will, but for a lot of you it might. It sounds like it from this reading, if this is your story. But but yeah, just don't get overexcited. Don't, don't smother them or cling or tell them that you miss them so much and can't live without them. And, you know, same goes for the opposite. Don't, don't be on the negative um spectrum of emotion either don't you know tell them how angry you are or how hurt you feel or how betrayed you feel i know it's hard not to but just vent those feelings to a friend or to somebody else that you can trust um or even in a journal and you can even write it in a journal and burn it when you're done with it um you know just as like a symbol of like releasing releasing and healing as much as you can but but yeah, just really stay grounded and balanced and neutral and match their energy. Do not give too much, not, you know, negative or positive emotion. Just do not overwhelm them or it's going to be back to square one again. So really take things slow. Even wait a little bit to reply to them. Like if they message you, even wait like 30, 40 minutes or longer to respond back. And if they say, hey, how's your, how is your day? Don't, don't tell them all. Don't give them like a whole story. Don't give them your whole life story. Just, just say... You know, just say my day's been good. You know, you can say I've been reading a book today or I've been doing this today. How's your day? You know, just just very light, very light and subtle. And again, matching their energy. 
if they're being super emotional and open, which I don't think they're going to be coming in that way because they're coming in as the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is kind of more of a harsh energy. It's, it's more, you know, swords are more harsh. They're more logical. They're more balanced. They're more... Um, uh, strict and reserved so it doesn't mean that they're going to say something hurtful it just means that they're probably going to come in asking how your day is there's going to be still a little bit of a guard up it's not going to be a full emotional message like you'd be getting with the page of cups you know what i mean so um so yeah don't say too much like keep be mindful of the conversation make sure you're saying as much as they're saying you're not saying anything more than that just 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 balance you know just keep just keep your guard up a little bit you know what I mean um just make sure you don't fall back into that pattern of being taken for granted really just match their energy make sure you're not saying more than they're saying make sure that they're doing as much talking as you're doing and and keep it light keep it simple match their energy just keep remind remember that just match their energy um I do sense them wanting to be more, more loyal to you though but I think it's going to be a slow start again you have to get things back on track with them, uh, I think that I think that this message that's coming in it's it's gonna you know the Eight of Pentacles is here, so it's it's this message that's gonna require patience. It's gonna require perseverance. It's gonna it's like what we were just talking about. You know, it's gonna require you to kind of have this logic, emotional balance, and not give too much. Make sure there's an equal energy exchange. You know, don't pour everything out. Don't tell them how hurt you are, how much you miss them, or tell them all about your life or any of this like you really want to kind of be reserved a little bit and you want a different energy than what you were in before because I feel like in the past they just they just took you for granted too much I feel um so yeah I mean they, they are coming in this communication I do feel I do feel it's coming in but again it's going to be very slow and it might be that it might be that they miss you and that there is that nostalgia there, but that they, they kind of, like I said, they took you for granted. So you kind of want to shift that. It's like, I think that you've been trying to manifest them back into your life. Like you've been trying to call them back into you and you're starting to do that. But, and I give this advice to other people too. Like I give this advice a lot because I know, you know, doing witchcraft and knowing other witches, I talk to people about this because a lot of people do reconciliation work, but then when they're ex or, or they're, you know, they're, their love interest texts them they get super excited and they cling on and then that energy pushes them away again and it's like this back and forth and it's like then they call them back then they then they get back in their power and they focus on themselves and their ex comes texting back again and then they claim they get all excited because they haven't heard from him or her in you know weeks or months and then they cling on again and then they're right back to square one and it's back and forth back and forth so you want to make sure you do not get in that energy you want to make sure that you stay in your power that you stay grounded that you stay neutral that you do not you know get don't get over excited and say too much you really have to watch yourself and i know it's hard when you get caught up in those emotions but it's kind of how reconciliation magic works too is is it's like you gotta you gotta pull they have to be pulled to you you know what i mean like you don't don't go to them make them come to you and stay in your power don't if they're coming for don't like run to them you just stay right where you're at stay in your power and just keep pulling them to you you know what i mean um and if you need any advice on that or anything please feel free to comment below and i'll i'll respond to you and see what i can do to help if, if this is if this is your story and that's resonating but I do, I do, okay, so I do, like I said, I do see them wanting to be more loyal to you. I do see them starting to appreciate you more. But again, it's going to take some time. I feel like, yes, you're probably going to get a text, but it's still, it's still going to be a process. You know what I mean? It's still going to be this process of shifting things so that they're no longer, like they're taking you for granted a lot less than they were before. But it's still going to be this process before they fully appreciate you on a deep level, you know? like you guys probably will be making small talk for a little bit and again make him or her text you first if this is your story and this is resonating and you're the one that was taken for granted if this is if this is all resonating and on point with you then yeah don't fall back into that pattern make sure that they text you first and again keep the conversation light be the first one to end the conversation 
I would recommend reading the book Why Men Love Bitches. It's not how it sounds. I know the title is very misleading, but it's, it's basically just about staying. It's not as bad as it sounds. It's basically just a book about staying in your power and staying grounded and developing this natural seduction, you know? So, so yes, there is a message coming in, but it's a process. You're going to still have to be patient. You're going to have to be neutral and grounded. There's going to be a lot of small talk at first, a lot of, you know, hey, how's your day? How is it going? Um, again, don't ask them to hang out. Don't say any of that. They should be the one to bring that up. If this is your story, they need to be the one to reach out first. They need to be the one to, that messages more than you message. They need to be the one that's making plans when they're ready to. It's, it's going to be this, I don't want to say cat and mouse game, but kind of. It's, it's, you, you're going to have to really stay balanced and grounded. It's, it's, I know there's a lot of, I know I keep saying that, but there's a lot of emphasis on that. It's very important because if you're not, you're going to go back to square one and this person is probably going to take you for granted and you're not going to hear from them for another three months, you know? So you have to make sure that with reconciliation that you're still shifting that energy for them to chase you. You know, keep keep it up. Even after they text, they have to keep chasing you. You are a prize to be won. You gotta keep being chased. You gotta you gotta put that energy up for sure. Um, and yeah, with the Queen of Wands, I think you have been focusing more on your on yourself, and you should keep that up even when the message comes in because they're gonna feel that energy too. They're gonna feel that they don't have you on lockdown anymore they're going to feel that you're focusing on yourself that you're focusing on your career and your hobbies and your passions and that you're living your life without them and that you're doing okay without them i know that you feel you feel very vulnerable with them and i know that they're, they're your safe space i know that's hard but it's really important to to be in that queen of wands energy where you're just passionate and you're focused on you know yourself and the things that make you happy the things that make you shine the thing that make that the things that make you charismatic the things that just are drawing love to you think about you know who you are and what draws love to you and that energy is what's going to move you forward with the chariot here that's what's going to like bring this about that's what's going to create these changes so i'll pull a few more cards just to see if i can get any more clarification What else do we need to know about this situation? You might be being guided by a loved one from the other side. This says psychic chains and blocks need to be resolved and removed. So it's almost like somebody on the other side might be helping you. It could be an ancestor or some kind of relative that's helping you with this. You also have spirit animals around you. It could be a familiar. It could be like an, a, your pet. Somebody that's just some animal that's just picking up on your energy. It could be an animal you're having dreams about that's just trying to give you a message so if you're seeing a certain animal everywhere or you're really drawn to a certain animal just look up the meaning of that animal because it might have a message for you spirits of the living so this is a deep psychic bond that you have with this person i do feel like i feel like a very emotional vulnerable connection here and it's like it's hard because you're both so vulnerable and open with each other when you're together and it's it's like it's you miss that you miss that you know your safe space i know that's really difficult 
love and reconciliation magic so yeah i think i do see reconciliation magic here like if you were either you either did it or you're just your energy is doing it like you're you're calling in this reconciliation you know your energy is drawing romantic love to you and deity here is just like a connection to gods and goddesses so this is this is the goddess freya you might have um these deities around you that are helping you with this situation and, and bringing this person in and a psychic battle you know the fight isn't over this is victory after struggle though this is being with your soulmate or your twin flame it's like your person your true love but you know the fight isn't over so i think it's just kind of saying the same thing i was just saying with the last spread where i was telling you you know no matter how excited you get you you have to stay grounded you have to stay neutral you have to match their energy you really need to make sure that you do that so you don't go back to square one otherwise it's going to be like with the twin flame connection there's the whole runner chaser aspect you know all of that going on so you have to you got to get out of that energy you have to get out of the runner chaser dynamic and just be naturally pulling them towards you you know what i mean you gotta really stay neutral you have to get in that queen of wands energy and just be in your power and not let them control your emotions and control your life anymore and i know it's really it's easier said than done when you have that kind of vulnerable deep connection with somebody it's hard you want to especially if you're a romantic it's hard because you just want to tell them everything you just want to be able to be vulnerable it's like the one person you feel you can trust and you know they do feel that with you too i'm not saying that they don't but they also they do take you for granted or they have taken you for granted in the past and they're just now starting to not take you for granted and it's but it's still a process it's still going to be a few months bef i think before they fully appreciate you again so you have to remember that don't get too excited by this message stay stay neutral make sure you're just be mindful of your energy your words your actions really stay on top of yourself so yeah, if this resonates, please go ahead and, you know, like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.